dad. My dad's kind of goofy, though. He makes his own kale chips. Yeah, he makes his own kale chips. He, lo- he calls me up all the time. He's like, Tom, I just made a new batch of kale chips. You got to try these. These are chips made from kale. Once you have these, you're never going to want a regular chip ever again because they're so delicious. So I finally tried one. I was like, oh, my dad forgot what chips taste like. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> kale chips are not good. They're basically like someone left a salad out for five days. And we're like, those are chips now. <laughs> Get them in your belly. My mom's funny too, though. She's interesting. She's like, she's really new agey. Like she's into like energy and crystals and stuff. And uh, she's been getting weirder. Like I called her a while ago. I was like, what are you up to, mom? And she was like, I'm activating rivers. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So you got a job at the city or something? You, you're cleaning up rivers? And she's like, no, I get my crystals out. I go to the mouth of the river. I do a little ceremony. I put the crystal in, and it activates the river. I was like, oh. Sounds like we're going to put you in a home soon. That's what that sounds like. (laughs) What? I was like, you've just been running around town throwing crystals into rivers? You're going to get picked up, Mom. You can't be doing that. you got to have permits to river activate. (laughs) But she loves doing it. She travels all over the country. She plans these camping trips by rivers so she can... She's got a website if you ever want to look up which rivers have been activated in North America. (laughs) You can find out. But she has a lot of fun. So after a while, I was like, maybe I should learn more about river activation in case I have to take over the family business. (laughs) I want to make sure I'm doing it right. So I was like, can you just explain this a little more? So like, when you put the crystal in the river, what does it do to show you it's been activated? Like, does it start bubbling or make a sound? Or like, do the ducks get real happy swimming around in it? Like, oh, this feels amazing on my feathers. Like, and the other duck's like, yeah, this river must have been activated recently. <laughs> the other duck's like, yeah, it's probably Barb. She's a really good river activator. <laughs> well, she's the only river activator right now. Her son's still learning how to do it. He's on ponds right now. He's gonna work his way up to Full River. (laughs) Sometimes I tease her too. I called her, I was like, what are you doing? She goes, I'm in Montana. I just activated a river. I was like, I already activated that one. (laughs) She just double activated that river. We should call Montana and let him know. (laughs) But my parents, my parents have always been into like nature and camping. Like my dad took me whitewater rafting when I was nine. When I was nine, do you see this in front of you? (laughs) Is this screaming whitewater rafter to everybody? (laughs) Like I weigh about 125 pounds right now. Can you picture me when I was nine? (laughs) I weighed 38 pounds. (laughs) I weighed 38 pounds, bigger glasses, no eyebrows. And my dad walked in the house, looked at that, and was like, that kid's ready to hit some whitewater rapids. (laughs) But I was not ready. I flew out of the boat, yeah. That's, that's what happens when you're that little and you're on an inflatable raft and it bumps into a rock. It just launches you about six feet into the water. They had to throw a rope, pull you back in. Like, you okay, Tommy? You having fun? I was like, no, not really. <laughs> My cardigan's all wet and I should be at home playing clarinet right now. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing with this river. This river has been activated. You know how dangerous this is? And your kale chips are all wet. 